Hey dolls! So today I am going to be doing my fall favorites. I know you guys have kind of been missing my monthly favorites so I figured that I would do kind of a seasonal favorites with fall being here and all. The first item that I want to talk to you guys about, oh my gosh this thing is amazing. <laughs> I posted a photo of this on my personal Instagram account, which if you're not following, uh, feel free to because I post some like behind the scenes stuff and just more personal things on that account, just like this. So if you want to follow me on there, you can. I have made it public, but it's just a little bit more of a sneak peek into my private life. Anyway, um, this thing, I posted a photo of this thing on there and I asked you guys if you had any guesses as to what this thing could be and I got so many different hilarious guesses. Some people said that they thought it was a baby monitor. Other people said maybe it's a computer mouse or something for your skin and a few people actually said that it is a portable charger for your phone which you're very very close because yes it is that but it is also an electric or rechargeable hand warmer. In the fall, I get so cold. Basically, if it's under 70 degrees, I am an icicle. I am freezing. And in the winters, it gets cold here. So it definitely gets below 70 degrees during the winter. It gets below like 10 degrees sometimes in the winter here. I've gone through those little, um, kind of hot pack like hand warmers there's 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 a name for them what are they called I don't remember exactly but they're like the ones that feel like they have sand in them and stuff and they're just little hand warmers and they last for hours at a time but they're basically just single use and once they cool back down you have to throw them away I've also tried the click heats um, I got those a couple years ago at my local county fair and they literally only last like half an hour to an hour max. This is so cool. You can charge it through the cord that it comes with, just like so. It has a little USB plug, so you can charge it through your computer or through um, the wall. And it's so cool. It charges pretty quickly for the most part, but there are three little um, LED lights on there. And if you double click it, they show blue on how full the battery is. So you can kind of check it and see how often you need to change the, charge the battery or uh, if the battery does need charging. Also, when you do turn it on, there are those three LEDs again, but when you initially turn it on, they will be red. I'm not sure if this is even gonna show on camera. Can you see the one, there you go. You can see the one red light right there. It starts heating up within like five to ten seconds like it is instant it is so fast you don't have to like manipulate it and rub it around and all that stuff to activate it or anything it's just an instant warmth the first light right there indicates um basically low and then the middle one indicates medium and then the other one indicates high so that's basically like depending on how cold it is outside determines which one of these you want to have on as you can see right here, this is just with the first temp, so setting low, and then if you click it again, that brings on medium, and then if you click it again, that brings on high. And to turn it on and off, you just press and hold the single button right there for a few seconds and then release and that turns it on and off. So it's very, very easy to work. It gets warm so fast. I also feel that this is absolutely great if you have like neck or shoulder pain, you can kind of just hold this on the spot that is kind of a little bit more painful and it is really awesome. It also works really well for period cramps. I find myself kind of like holding it there a little bit when I am going through that time of the month. I just love this thing so much. So if you want to get your hands on one of these bad boys. They also do have color, other color options. Also have a really pretty light blue color and a few others as well. So if you want to get your hands on one of these, uh, I will post the link down below. Um, I'm obsessed with it. Also, the reason I say that it is kind of a power bank for your phone is because it comes with the charging cord right here, but it also comes with an adapter that looks just like this. And if you plug in the little adapter to the device itself, 
this actually has a USB plug right here. So you can charge your phone through this. It does act as an external like little power bank for your smartphone, which is really, really cool. You don't have to have specifically an iPhone or specifically an Android or anything. As long as it has a USB way to charge your device, there you go, you're good to go. I just, I love this thing so much. It gets hot so fast and I can tell that I'm going to use the crab out of this during the winter but I have already started using it even when I'm laying in bed at night and I'm just like oh I'm kind of chilly and I just need a little bit of warmth in my hands now I just need like electric rechargeable socks or something that have like the heat in them how cool would that be enough talking about this guy I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the other items all right so item number two is obviously Kigurumis, or as some of you might call them, onesies. For adults, they are so comfy and so big and just so warm and cozy to have when you're sipping your hot cocoa or your tea or you're lighting a candle or sitting by the fire. It's just so, so warm and cozy. So I have this one. I have my, my Melody one. And then I also have this Marie one. This Marie one, unfortunately, came from... So all of my U.S. subscribers try to find this on Depop or Poshmark of someone selling it from overseas. I had someone get this for me. A friend of mine on Instagram got this for me. And I think there are a couple locations in the U.S., but they don't uh, stock this kind of stuff just yet, the Marie stuff. I haven't seen. If I'm wrong, please correct me. But I'm pretty sure that those are only available uh, overseas in the U.K. This one, I believe I got off of Doll's Kill a few years ago. And I believe that this one, my friend Angel actually got me when we did a swap. Um, I believe this was from the Tokyo Otaku Mode website. I could be totally wrong. You can get these on eBay and stuff though if you just type in like Rilakkuma Kigurumi or Rilakkuma onesie. They'll probably pop up um, even if you just Google them. But yes, Kigurumis or onesies are super great. I know that you can even get Care Bear ones and stuff like that at Target and Walmart. So yeah, they are very, very warm, comfy, oversized just amazing. I sleep in these things, I cuddle in these things, and I just love them. So definitely thumbs up for the Kigurumis. Next up are fuzzy socks. This is just one pair of my many, many, many fuzzy socks. Um, I decided to show these ones because they're the clean ones and I have actually haven't ever worn these yet. I think I got these in a two-pack at Target um, last year or the year before, or maybe it was even Dollar Tree. I honestly don't remember, I couldn't tell you, but they are sparkly and cozy and so warm and fuzzy. And what I like to do during the fall and winter is saturate my feet with lotion and put my sockies on over top and sleep in them. And I wake up and my feet are all soft and just they stay warm throughout the night and it's just a really, really nice, comfy feeling. Speaking of lotion, I will go ahead and show you guys like one of my favorite scents lately. This is the Bath & Body Works Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. I love this lotion so much. It smells so good. I have yet to actually put this one in my purse. I've been using it kind of at night when I want. You know how a lot of people will use like aromatherapy when going to bed or they'll use like pillow mists and mist like the lavender and chamomile onto their pillows. I used to have a Bath & Body Works one, one of those but it ran out and so I haven't been using any sort of like aromatherapy when I go to bed. So what I really like to do is actually put this lotion on or put on another calming scent that I really, really enjoy, like pumpkin cupcake or just kind of like the pumpkin-y baked goods scents from Bath & Body Works. I'll put those on my hands before I go to sleep and then when I'm dozing off to sleep, I just smell the smell that I absolutely love and it makes me feel all warm and cozy inside and I actually find myself sleeping a little bit better. It just smells so good. I love it. So I also have the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte in the body spray. Again, I just like to kind of spray the air before I go to bed. It's just a very calming scent to me. And then I do also have some wallflowers. You guys know my favorite fall scent from Bath & Body Works from my last Bath & Body Works haul that I did. I will link it up here if you haven't watched it yet is pumpkin cupcake. So I have this in a wallflower that I have yet to use, but I love the scent. And then I have vanilla pumpkin marshmallow, as well as a few other scents that I really enjoy using in the wallflowers as well, because then it just makes the whole room smell good. And again, it just is such
such a warm fuzzy cozy smell to me having the fall scents in my wall plug-in and I just love them so there are those bouncing back to clothing I kind of forgot to show this um I'm just gonna show this real briefly this is my Lisa Frank hoodie the only reason I'm really showing this is because yes I do wear it often this is my hoodie sweatshirt jacket of choice when the months get a little bit cooler I love this thing so much it is fleece lined and it is so warm and cozy and this is actually from Hot Topic. I don't think that they carry it anymore. I haven't seen it on the website. I've been wanting to get a second one as like a backup because I've already got some like makeup stains on this thing and I just wear this so much. I wanted to get a backup. So if you guys ever see this for sale somewhere, please let me know provided it's not in a crazy amount <laughs> because I think I paid like $25 or $30 for this hoodie and people are turning around and selling it on eBay and stuff for like $70. I don't want to pay that for it. <laughs> so don't link me in the, in the in the listings if they're like over $30 because I'm not, I'm not going to pay that for this hoodie when I already have it and I just kind of want to back up. Um, I love this so much. It is so just cozy and I... I just love it. I always get a thousand questions on where I got it. So Hot Topic, it was part of their Lisa Frank collection. I mean obviously. Um, but again, I don't know if they carry it anymore. But I figured I would include it in here since I keep getting thousands of questions on where I got it. Let's see, what else is my favorite for fall? Oh, I have been loving carrying mini backpacks lately. I got this one from Box Lunch. That is boxlunch.com. I believe they are owned by the same people who uh, own Hot Topic or who run Hot Topic, but it is just boxlunch.com. I don't have a location near me, so they were kind enough to actually send this to me, but I also have quite a few of the other Marie Loungefly mini backpacks that you guys have seen in the past that I've gotten off of LA a stylerush.com which I'll post links to those videos or something or down in the description or somewhere something um but it's spelled exactly how it's pronounced la style rush.com they have the uh marie lounge fly items often and this is one of the newest ones that box lunch sent me I've been loving carrying these lately because they're big enough to where I can fit like a cardigan or like not really a sweater, but kind of like an over jacket that's not too crazy thick. I can fit them in here without having to like tie them around my waist or carry them with me places during the fall. And also this gives me the ability to kind of go hands free. Oftentimes I'll find that if I'm carrying an over the shoulder bag or like a tote bag or something, it always just slips down my arm and it slips down my arm and it's so annoying. So I have found that using mini backpacks lately has been very, very helpful. I feel like I've been a lot more mobile. Uh, my one shoulder doesn't start hurting because of carrying a bag. I can kind of just strap it on as a backpack and just wear it like that. And it's just so much more convenient. And also the straps fit comfortably over bulky hoodies or jackets or coats or whatever, whereas maybe a regular tote bag or a shoulder bag, it's kind of a struggle to put on if you have like all this excess fabric on the sides. I find that the backpacks, you can just adjust them to how tight or loose you want them and they fit perfectly. So I have been really loving this one. It's the most recent one that I've been using. Okay, and now the last things that I'm going to share with you guys are some skincare slash makeup products right here. Um, I have been loving Glam Glow, and I have been loving them for a couple years now. I am on their PR list, so they do send me packages quite often. But I wanted to share with you guys my two favorite moisturizers. This one right here is their Glow Starter. And this is basically kind of, it's, it's a little bit of a tinted moisturizer but the color doesn't actually show through. It does have a little bit of like iridescent shine or sparkle to it. So you can use this as a base for your foundation. You can tell I use this thing a lot. Um, I take this on trips with me all the time. I use this as a moisturizer when I take my makeup off at night sometimes or in the morning. If I'm going on a trip, I'll just take this one with me. 
it's so great so amazing this is in the shade nude glow i think they do have like three different shades but again they are very sheer so they don't actually like show up on your skin too much they just give you a nice little glow if you want to be really really light during the uh, winter or summer months sometimes your face feels a little bit more chapped or oily or whatever and you don't want to layer on too much product this is great to just use as a foundation or like a BB cream as well it's a moisturizer and it keeps your face very very moisturized and very very nice I love this now this one right here is the uh, dream duo and this one is made specifically to wear at night before you go to bed it has a two-step system to it so on one side you will see the white product again I use this stuff all the time so there's barely any left of the white um, you put on the white first and then you leave it for about 30 seconds let it kind of soak into your skin and then layer on the gray part and it's just like a two-step thing it smells amazing all of their products usually smell really really good unless it's like their mud masks and stuff these smell so 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 good they just smell so rich and luxe and i absolutely love these they work so good they don't break my face out or anything like that if anything they help my face stay luscious i get a lot of questions on what i do for skincare and to be honest with you guys the only thing that i really do special for my skin lately if at all is just moisturizer and i usually use either of these guys and you can get those at just glamglow.com now the last things i have to share with you guys are dose of colors this has got to be oh gosh this has got to be one of my favorite makeup brands as far as eyeshadows and liquid lipsticks go their liquid lips lip liquid, liquid, liquid lipstick formula is amazing i love it i personally prefer to use a chapstick underneath of it before i apply it i don't care about the long wearing effect as much but if you're someone who wants that that's why you buy uh, matte liquid lipsticks is for the long wear obviously do not apply a chapstick or anything underneath of them i prefer to wear a chapstick underneath of it just because I like the moisture <laughs> to be there you know I don't want it to be all cracky and crumbly or anything like that and I don't find that I have that issue with dose of colors liquid lips even if I don't wear a chapstick underneath I just prefer to anyway I always get tons of questions on what color am I wearing on my lips just like right now if you ever see me wearing this color this is dose of colors matte liquid lipstick in the shade rosebud I have repurchased this lipstick seven times because I will wear this thing every single day. I am hooked on the shade. It looks so good with my skin tone and my eye makeup that I usually wear. And it just, it's so good. It's such a like pinky purpley mauve, but it's nude at the same time. So it's not like wham bam in your face because I already have wham bam in your face hair. I don't necessarily need a crazy psychedelic lip color as well. Um, so I really, really like this one. I feel like it complements my hair color very, very well. Again, my face, it complements very well with my day-to-day -day makeup and it's just so good. So Dose of Colors Rosebud, very, very, very good. Now, again, with Dose of Colors, I recently purchased this eyeshadow palette. I've been wanting this guy for so long because, again, if you guys can't tell, I always wear kind of a neutral colored smoky eye like almost every single day i don't really do crazy insane colors unless it's like an event or maybe i'll do a little pop of color on my lower lash line but that's about it i don't go crazy with it and you guys do know that i have to go to work every day and be presentable and i don't necessarily want to go through the process of doing a different makeup look every single day while i'm going to work just to be in the kitchen in the back where no one even sees me except my co-workers so i don't necessarily have to put on glitz and glam just to go to work and have 15,000 different colors on my face so this is a beautiful everyday palette this is the marvelous mauves palette again from dose of colors and it just has beautiful everyday mauve shades and this color palette works with the lipstick so well i use every single one of these colors like every single day and i have been since i got it like a month or two ago and i have not been able to put this eyeshadow down i actually ordered this off of the ulta website but you can just get it at doseofcolors.com this lipstick is also available at ulta i'm not sure if they sell in stores but you can get them through the website 
and I believe this palette was around $30 and I think the lipstick is like $18 which is about average for a matte liquid lip and you get what five shadows yeah five shadows their shadows are so like powdery and buttery and just so so beautiful they blend so so well i have another palette that is dose of colors that i have been using so much that i've loved ever since i got it and it is so so good so i highly recommend dose of colors for their eyeshadows as well as their liquid lips Okay, so I think that is going to wrap it up for my fall favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to let me know down below what your favorite item is or most used item is during the fall months. And what your favorite item was that I showed in this video. And with that being said, I guess I will go ahead and go. And I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye.